Hi, Nancy. Hi. Can you tell me about those four other paranormal experiences? Yes. Um, actually, it's pretty fun. I'm going to share something that's really fun with you guys. A lot of times with spirit, when they want to contact you, they will do something physical so that you notice that they're there. And then you can start to talk to them. So when my mom passed, we had a big thing about ladybugs. We, as a child, we used to always sit on the front porch and look at ladybugs. So she decided that that was going to be her sign. So anytime a ladybug would appear in front of you in these very odd places, like in the bathroom or it could be on a window shield, just one ladybug, I knew that she wanted to talk to me. So I would talk to her. Well, one day I was working um, at an office and we were moving to a new office and I was going over there to see what office I was going to be in. And there was an upstairs and a downstairs. And my mom always wanted me to go up and down stairs for, for weight. So um, I was choosing between the two. And so I went upstairs to the upstairs one. And the whole ceiling was covered with ladybugs. The entire ceiling was ladybugs. So I knew that I needed to take that office because mom would have been happy. Spirits also get your attention by um, scents. So like a favorite scent that you might have when you were a child with your mom or dad or uncle, they'll waft it by you. So I was, one day I was sitting in my living room, all minding myself, and there was this scent of this uh, cigar uh, tobacco smoke. And I'm like, what's going on? And I thought I was crazy. And so then it went off, and then it came back, and then it went off. And I'm like, okay, who's here? And I heard this big laughter. This, this male who was a friend of father of my friend wanted me to give a message to my friend. So therefore, basically, um, he wafted that scent next to me so I'd know who it was. Um, one time, pretty funny, um, I was getting my hair dyed, and um, it was a blue color, and I hadn't touched my head at all. My hands were underneath the, the scarf, and um, the lady walked away, and I pulled my hands out, and all of my fingertips were completely blue with the dye. And I'm like, what is going on? And she comes back, she goes, Nancy, you touched your head. And I said, no, I didn't, I swear I didn't. She's all, what's going on? And I go, I don't know, but my hands are completely blue. And um, so I am asking around spirit, who did this, what's going on? And there was definitely a spirit that came through that I was familiar with who wanted me to give a message to the man that was across the way getting his hair done. And that's how he got my attention. I wasn't too happy about that at all, but he also said that basically um, I'm a hard head, so a lot of times I shut them out, and he needed to get a message across, so he needed to do something drastic, so that's what he did. Um, I had a client that I went to her house because for about 60 days, all of her electronics were starting to uh, go down, her dryer, her washer, her car, her computer, and she called me, and she didn't know what to do. And I said, I don't know, let me come over and let me check it out. So I came over, and I sat in her living room, and I'm like, well, tell me what's going on. So she did, and all of a sudden, right in front of me, appears what I call is an alien, a spirit alien, a little tiny guy, and he came as a tiny guy because he didn't want to scare me. <laughs> and he was gray, just like you would see them on TV, with big eyes and gray, and he had little ears. He was cute as a button. And he starts talking to me. He goes, here, let me show you what's going on. Follow me. So I'm like, okay, I'm I look to my client and I go, well, we got to follow him. So we followed, he followed him back to the back bedroom and there was a portal open. And the portal was acting as a train station for spirits to come in and out. Um, and they would come, go whatever they're going to do, go back out every 24-7. So it was causing havoc with her electronics because spirits' energy will actually make electronics fry. So I said, okay, so I closed down the portal, came back down, it came back into the living room, thanked the little alien for his help, and then everything stopped breaking. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Well, thank you, Nancy. And anything that we miss, we'll catch it in the interview. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Okay.